Hi guys, come on in. Welcome back to Simply Charlie's, where new crafters like to hang out. Look at what we're going to create today. Looky, looky. And we're using pieces of soap from previous projects to make this. We don't throw anything away. We save it and we use it for a new project. So if you'd like to make something like this, keep watching. For this rebatch project, we're going to need some leftover pieces of soap from previous projects. And what I'm going to use today is some lavender. And here's one that was um, fresh linen. Now what I'm going to do with the fresh linen, which is a red truck that didn't turn out quite like I wanted it to, I'm going to add some shea butter and that shea butter will turn this red pink. Okay. And with the lavender, it still has a lavender smell, but I'm going to add just a tiny bit more of the lavender scent to it and a tiny bit more of the purple color. Okay. We're going to need a couple of vessels to melt our soap in. Um, I have my lavender fragrance oil, my purple color, my alcohol to pop the bubbles, something to stir with, um, something to measure my fragrance oil with. And of course, I'm going to need my thermometer to um, monitor the, the heat temperature. Okay, first things first. I'm going to chop up this, this truck and put it in one of the vessels to melt. So, how's everybody doing today? great I hope. In North Carolina we've got uh, some severe weather forecast to, um, for today. Right now it's in the 60s and it's supposed to drop down to the 40s throughout the day and then uh, tonight it's supposed to be in the 20s. Yeah as a matter of fact right now on my phone I'm seeing a weather alert pop up. Okay I'm gonna chop this up and put it in the vessel okay and I'm gonna add just a little bit of the shea butter to see if that turns it the shade of pink that I want and because this uh, particular piece of soap that I'm working with was fresh linen I know that it will uh, layer very well with the lavender. So I'm going to put a, a tad bit of um, lavender in, in this too. Uh, I may as well go ahead and chop up my lavender pieces too. Some, some of these are all, they're already cut up in chunks, but I want to make them smaller. That way they'll, they'll melt faster. Okay. And I'm not going to do too much because we're not going to be making, mm, I don't know, we'll make a couple of bars or so. But like I'm always saying, do not throw away your um, leftover pieces of soap because you can always use them to create another project. Let's see. Uh, I'll put a couple more pieces in there. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to melt this and, and, and I'll be back. Okay. It took 90 seconds to melt this, um, this soap base. And I, um, I got a, a pink. Can you see that out of that red? Now I have a pink and this fresh linen smells good but I want this particular soap to have a lavender scent. So I'm only going to put a tiny, tiny bit. I'm trying to only do like one eighth of a teaspoon or less, actually. Let's see if I can pay attention to what I'm doing here. You see how I'm, I'm moving really slow 
so that I don't over pour. Okay, that's great, great, great. Okay, so this should be good to go. Yeah, now that lavender is the top note. All right, I'm going to pour this in a mold. Just, I think I'm gonna do thin layers so that it'll um, it'll it'll set up much quicker. Okay. And once this is set, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it up into, um, into pieces for my soap. And we'll see what we come up with. G guys, I'm winging this. I, don't, I really don't know what the design is going to be, what the soap is going to look like at all. I have to tell you. Let's see. Okay. I, I can hear that wind howling out there. I'm supposed to go and deliver some Avon this morning, but I don't know. I might have to call my customer and tell her, uh, I'll see you later. Okay, I'm going to set this aside and let it set. Okay, and once it's set, then we'll cut it up into some pieces uh, for embeds. All right, now let's melt the purple part. I'll be back. It only took about 45 seconds for this to melt. Okay, now I'm going to sit this on a white paper towel so that I can see the color change, okay? I'm going to add a little bit of purple to make this more vibrant because it has faded just two drops. It has faded over time. Let's see what two drops does. Okay. Well, that's pretty. That's pretty dark. Let's see. Mm, yeah, I think that's I think that's purple enough. <laughs> All right, let me check the temperature and see, because I just took this out of the microwave. Make sure that it's not too hot to add fragrance oil. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're, we're good. We're at 156. So, let's add about an eighth of a teaspoon or less. <laughs> it's your soap. You make it smell like you want it to smell. Okay. And yes. Oh, that smells good. Mm -mm -mm. All right. All right. Let's get this one poured. I'm going to bring this. Uh, Bring this back, okay, and we're going to pour, okay, like I said guys, I don't know what we're going to get here, oh I didn't have as much purple as I did pink, but that's okay, that is okay. All right, let's spray those bubbles. All right, now we're gonna slide this over so that it can set. I don't wanna, uh, I guess I better stop right there because it was, it looks like, oh, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, I can get it moved, I can get it moved. All right, that's good. Now, the other thing that I'm going to be doing, and I'm going to need to get another vessel, is because I want my color, I'm going to use, I think I've decided that I'm going to use this mold. It's just a round mold, so it'll just be a round bar of soap. Um, but what I'm going to do is, ooh, I'm, uh, you, you see I haven't thought this thing completely through. I want, I, you know what, I was going to go ahead and, 
put and melt the shea butter and put it at the, the bottom here. But I think what I'm going to do, hmm, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me think, let me think. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to chop this up. And I'm going to go ahead and melt this and get it poured into my mold so that the, though that pink and that purple will pop against this white. And let's see, is that going to be enough? Yeah, because we're not going to make but two or three bars. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to get this in another vessel and I'll get it melted and I'll be back. Okay, the soap for the embeds has set. So now we're going to unmold that and we're going to chop these up in pieces and make us a soap. Okay. All right. And you could put it in any mold that you want to. I just chose this particular one because I could, you know, make them kind of thin. That way I can have little small pieces as embeds. And I'm going to use this cutter because it has a little waffle to it. Can you see that? And so it'll give it a little bit of dimension. All right, let's cut all this up. And I'm, I'm wanting some kind of small pieces. I guess I should cut it where I can see what size. Can Yeah, you can see. I don't want real big pieces in that small bar of soap. Okay. I think I'm going to cut that in half. All right. Then I'm going to... Turn it to the side, cut again, some small pieces, okay, let's keep going, uh, okay. And I'll cut up a piece of the pink so you can kind of see what I'm going to be working with. I'm not gonna um, cut the other pieces on camera. I don't. I know you guys can don't want to watch me just cutting cutting these embeds, but I did want you to see the the little waffle design that we're coming up with. Okay. And there again, guys. I don't know what we're gonna what we're coming up with here. So. I kind of turned on the camera and I've been kind of figuring it out as we go. But the whole idea is to take your leftover pieces of soap from other projects and make something beautiful out of it. Don't waste anything. Okay. All right, guys. So this is what we got. Let's see. Can I want to. I want you to be able to see that it has a little dimension to it, a little shape. And I'm not sure if you if it's coming across on the camera. And it's the same thing. Yeah, I think we can see it better with the with the pink. Okay. So I'm gonna go off camera, and I'm gonna go ahead. You. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and, and chop up the rest of these, and then I'll be back. All right, guys, I got my embeds all chopped up, and it smells wonderful. 
Next thing I'm going to do is melt some clear glycerin and I'm not going to add any color or any fragrance oil to this because I don't want it to get foggy, okay? This is what I'm going to pour over our embeds. I'll be back. Okay, I've melted my clear glycerin. That's going to be my overpour. And what I'm going to do is pour a very, very thin layer at the bottom of the mold so that the, the, the embeds, you can see them very well through the top but you're, you are not actually going to be touching the embeds, okay? So it's going to be a, just enough to cover the bottom. Just enough to cover the bottom. And I'm thinking for sure I can do four. I don't know. Anyway, that's what I'm going to pour is four. Okay, and we want to make sure before we put the embeds in that we spray the embeds, we spray the, the overpour, and that we make sure that it's not too hot so that it melts the embeds. And this is fine. This is fine. Okay, all right. Let's spray all of the embeds before we start putting them in. You want to make sure that everything has some alcohol on it. Yep. Kind of flip it around. Flip it around, get the alcohol all, all over it. Yeah. Let me check the temperature. Okay, guys, I want to let this set just a little bit. I don't want it to be hard, but I want it to get a little skin on it so that the embeds don't fall through. So I'm going to give it, uh, it will only take maybe two or three minutes. I'll be back. Okay, we're ready to add the embeds. I'm going to spray. Ooh. What's going on with my sprayer? Oh. Here we go. Okay. Let me put a little more alcohol on the embeds. Okay. And I'm going to put a little pink in each one. At least the top layer. I want to make sure that both colors really show. Can you see? Okay, got some pink. Now let's get some purple in there. Some purple. Oh, guys, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But we are going with it. Yeah. Let's put some more pink in there. And let's put some more purple in there. Let's see. That's more pink. You want to make sure that you don't go above the the rim. Okay. Let's see. Uh, let's put a little more pink there. Uh, looks like that purple might be getting a little bit lost in some of them. Well, every soak is going to be different. Let's put some over here. Can you see what I'm doing, guys? Just a little pink and a little purple. A little pink and a little purple. Let's see. Okay. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with that and hope for the best. <laughs> All right, I got my 
overpour. Let's see what the temperature is. Oh, 130. That's that's great. Okay. Let's pour it nice and slow. Because we want it to get down in all those little nooks and crannies. And I want to leave room for the that that white bottom. Oh yeah, and I forgot to tell you I had changed my mind because before I was gonna start with the white and then the embeds and then the overpour, but I changed I decided that I wanted the um the white to be at the at the bottom of the soap because the bottom of this mold is a little bit well at, as we're looking at it, it's the top. This part will be the bottom of the soap. Uh, let's see. I want to get that down under. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, I want to make sure I leave enough room for the bottom. <laughs> see what we come up with. Okay, let's pop those bubbles. And I'll let that get just about set because I don't want the, the shea butter to fall through. Okay, so we'll let this set and then I'll melt my shea butter and we'll, do, we'll finish it up, okay? Okay, our soap has set enough so that we can pour the bottoms on. I've gone ahead and melted my shea butter and I'm going to add a little bit of the lavender fragrance oil to that. I'm not going to add any color, but I'm going to add some fragrance. Okay. Okay. Let's just stir that in and see what the temperature is because we don't want to melt our embeds 149 that should be that should be just about cool enough let me add a little alcohol to pop the bubbles and that'll cool it down too okay let's see where we're at Down to 140. Okay. That should be 135, 140 is good. All right. So let's pour these bottoms on. Want to make sure we cover the embed. I want a smooth bottom. Hmm. I don't know if I melted enough or not, but we shall see. Nope. Let's see if we can get enough on, on this one. I think we may have done it. Let's see, that's just a tiny piece of embed showing right there. Okay. All right, let's pop bubbles. And we'll wait for this to set. Okay, guys, our project is set. Let's unmold it and see what we got. Okay. Let's see. Okay. And each one is different. Okay, guys. Here we go. I'm not absolutely in love with it, but at least we we used some soap pieces that otherwise may have been just tossed. And now we have some 
usable soap. What do you guys think? Don't throw away your leftover pieces of soap. Make something, and I'm going to call this beautiful. Okay? That's all I got, guys. I will see you next time. Bye, guys.